Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with some Drunker Loon and even though this deck is considered to be very toxic, I'm gonna still gonna play it because honestly, why not? So, my opponent will be playing some Splemetry. So, uh, I wouldn't say it's too bad of a matchup, but at the same time I'm not a fan of it because he's gonna be having a lot of good response against us. For instance, he's gonna be having a cyclone against a balloon and most likely a building, so not too good of a start, but at the same time I'm not gonna complain too much, I'm gonna just cycle my skeleton hut, gonna wait for him to play his T-Rex, and there it is, he played his T-Rex, so I'm gonna just play my T-Rex against his. Against he gets his some damage. Also, I don't know why my T-Rex got splashed while uh, it was uh, what while it was uh, yeah uh, being uh, next to cemetery. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna just DPS his swordsman. I'm gonna play some drunker to mitigate the damage of the cemetery. I'm gonna play blitz. Just to, like I said, mitigate the damage. I'm not uh, looking into 100% countering, but just enough. So my opponent will be playing a T-Rex against my Drunker Loon, which will absolutely be, be nice play uh, for him, obviously. I'm gonna get a death damage, which is uh, fine for me. I'm gonna play a T-Rex against his T-Rex so that I create some pressure. He instantly plays a poison, which means that he is gonna uh, try to be a little bit of uh, aggressor in this matchup. I'm gonna play archers. I'm gonna right now play some drunker, maybe even a blitz if I'm gonna go for another balloon. So basically we're gonna try to get as many balloons as it's physically possible in this matchup. I'm gonna get some arrows here, uh, I mean bullets. And right now I'm gonna just split the archers and basically go for the best. He's gonna play a poison against my uh, archer, which is fair play, but I'm gonna play footman. Yeah, I would love to say mostly outside of the poison range, but unfortunately it's not the case. I'm gonna play another drunker loon. This time I think he's gonna activate the viking tower, which is gonna be very unfortunate because from this point forward, yeah, that's gonna be very uh, hard uh, for me to connect. Actually, very unfortunate uh, all together that I'm gonna be facing a, a very good uh, player uh, first uh, thing in the video, because I, I guarantee you this deck has some potential of uh, play, uh, and it's just not uh, visible uh, in this game. I'm gonna try to uh, get uh, around with some footman. Obviously he's gonna play some cyclone, so it's not gonna happen. He's gonna even get this very lucky shot right here. I'm gonna play some T-Rex to lure his uh, uh, T-Rex. I'm gonna play skill hut to prevent uh, his uh, cemetery from dealing too much damage and I think that was pretty successful. Obviously it's gonna be a difficult matchup and I, uh, and I don't think I'm gonna win it unless he messes up uh, his building placement and then i'm gonna have just a slight uh, chance but i still think that's not gonna be enough yeah gg's nice plate and unfortunately we're gonna go down in this first game which like i've said it's gonna be a very annoying matchup to face but at the same time yeah i've tried and i've tried my best so let's just uh, try to get more lucky matchup which doesn't have like uh, infinite balloon counters and let's go Next game will be against Kazu. So Kazu will be a 10 metal player, which uh, we will uh, instantly bomb rush with our uh, Drunk Loon because I've decided that it's gonna be a good play. And I think that's gonna be actually a good play because my opponent will be playing a default deck. And default deck, uh, well, it does have nice ways to counter uh, the Drunk Loon, even first play. But my opponent wasn't uh, fast enough to react on time and thus we're gonna get a very uh, quick uh, tower down, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be a very good start for us. I'm gonna split archers so that only one archer engages Bomberman and uh, she's gonna be enough to uh, counter him. 
it would be the same result if I were to pull two archers, but obviously it would not uh, force out uh, the additional response. Also, my uh, drunker uh, unfortunately won't deal with that uh, phone cack. It will uh, divert to a steel hammer. For better or for worse, uh, it is already up for you to decide. I'm gonna just go for the balloon and then for some footmen. Uh, to basically ravage his tower and I think <laughs> that's gonna be just two towers down and uh, at this point my opponent can as well uh, leave the game because I don't think there's a way in which he can come back to this game. I'm gonna play some skeleton hat right here against this bomb skeleton just to fully counter it. I believe the skeleton hat fully counters the bomb skeleton. If not, well, uh, I'm gonna learn something today. I'm gonna play archers against this uh, phone cake. It should be absolutely enough, uh, and right now we're gonna just set up one last uh, Drunker Loon, because uh, that's how this deck is being played. My opponent plays Bullets, which is absolutely uh, perfect. Also, uh, his two archers actually go for my uh, Balloon, but it doesn't really matter, because uh, they uh, divert instantly. I'm gonna just play Blitz, and we're gonna be GG's nice play in this game number 2. And we're gonna just hop straight to the game number three. And in the next game of today's video, we're gonna be facing against Luke with 20 medals on his honor. And yeah, we're gonna be just uh, playing against him. I'm gonna split archers first uh, play, then play Blitz just to cycle. And my opponent will be playing Ken, which uh, will be sign of either default deck or 2.6. And he plays Bullets, which means that he's very likely to play a default deck. I'm gonna just play Drunker Loon at the bridge because I don't really have a better play to make. My opponent will play Bomb Scout, which is pretty nice response against a Drunker, but definitely not against Balloon, and this Balloon will deal a lot of damage already against his tower, so very good start for us. My opponent doesn't create uh, any counterplay at all whatsoever, so I'm not worried about uh, his Bomb Skeleton. Uh, he at least should be creating some counter blade because uh, right now uh, I have absolutely no problems in my position. He just uh, cycles a Bomberman. I'm gonna play T-Rex just to start chipping his uh, Steel Hammer. Obviously it's not the most optimal play, but at the same time, at this point, uh, as a winning uh, team, you should be winning at a place that are simple and that will simplify the position. Here I'm gonna actually ignore these bomb blasters because I'm gonna focus on attacking with a drunker loon if, and if I get uh, a successful attack right here I'm gonna get a tower and uh, definitely the advantage also he's not having any spell to stop this balloon I know it because I know this deck by heart and I know that uh, cannon and uh, cannon and uh, any air troop will be his uh, best play, but he already wasted a cannon, so it's absolutely no use on playing everything else. Also, I got this uh, uh, Skeleton Hut chipped by a one-shot of Archer. Obviously, a uh, slight mistake by me, but it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, as he's gonna be forced uh, to go into me anyway, and this Skeleton Hut obviously will grant a lot of value. I'm gonna play Footman here, uh, just to try to pressure his uh, Bomberman and uh, also to kite uh, his uh, steel hammer a bit. I think that was a very good uh, resolution of this action. Uh, I think, I, yeah, I've got away with perfect defense right here. Nothing else to say. I'm gonna play T-Rex here. Uh, he's gonna try to breach me uh, with bullets, which I don't think is the play. Now I'm gonna just go for a drunk balloon and let's see how my opponent will react. Uh, 20 seconds left uh, to the end of the game, obviously I'm gonna play Footman just to kill this camp a bit faster and let's see if we can get a 2-star. Uh, I'm gonna play Blitz here just to stun his uh, Bomberman. I'm gonna actually get a 2-stars uh, in this match. He gets a Prediction Bullets, which was a very cute play, but it was already useless as the tower was down. So, GG's nice play, let's jump to game number 4. And right now we're up against a user uh, 390,000 if I read it correctly. I'm always getting confused, I promised myself that I'm not gonna be reading them anymore and yet I'm still doing it, I'm still making the same mistake. I'm gonna split Footman as the uh, first uh, play of the game, obviously you can argue that I 
Cycle Blitz as a first play, but I mean the first play that is a troop, which is pretty much the first important play of the game. Uh, this archer will help uh, with dealing with this balloon. Obviously, I uh, only wanted to attack uh, so I can uh, check what deck is he playing, and from what I see, he is go okay. Now I absolutely have no idea what he's playing because I was about to say that uh, he's gonna be playing uh, this uh, Splemetry and he's obviously not playing Splemetry unless he's playing Splemetry with Fifth, which would be uh, at least weird. Drunker will be enough to uh, clean up the uh, Skeleton uh, Cemetery and right now we're gonna just go in with the Balloon. Uh, Drunker will clean up the archers, which will be absolutely fabulous. We're gonna just add the blitz, and the uh, balloon will get to the tower. We'll get probably two hits, maybe three if we get lucky. And yeah, there are there are the two hits. I probably should have blitzed these archers earlier, so I can get more, uh, so I can get more tankage for my balloon. But it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Uh, I think we've already succeeded with our attack. Uh, my opponent will be playing a T-Rex in the back. I'm gonna respond with exactly the same play because obviously the cemetery player wants the uh, wants the board control, and as long as we uh, won't allow him a board control, we're gonna be in a good shape. I'm gonna protect my T-Rex because I'm gonna play just bullets. I don't even feel like. I need to play Balloon, but I'm gonna play it anyway because I'm hard winning. Also, he's gonna get the poison of his lifetime uh, because it's gonna hit, uh, frankly, every single thing in this position. Also, this Cyclone was very nice. I thought the Footman will kill the... Uh, uh, will kill the uh, Skeleton Hut, but apparently they didn't. Well, sometimes happens. He starts to switch lanes, which I like. But at the same time, I can just right now uh, press with everything I have, and I don't think he has uh, anything to say about uh, the outcome of this game, as this balloon will eventually and inevitably connect to the tower, and that's gonna be GG's nice play it uh, once again, this time against Cemetery. We're gonna just uh, put a footman uh, for banter, win a partida, which is a good game in Spanish, and we're gonna actually get a perfect game in Boom Arena, and with that energy, let's jump to the game number 5, last game of today's video. And our last opponent in today's video will be a 129 Mandel player who has very controversial nickname, once again, the average day in Boom Arena cannot uh, happen without this one. I'm gonna play actually a Drunk Loon instantly at the bridge because I don't feel like uh, there's a better play in the position. I'm gonna play bullets because why not? We've already committed a lot to this push, so, mean, so we might as well. My opponent will actually get a balloon on his own. We're gonna try to mitigate its damage and I think we're gonna be successful. I should have blitz sooner. Doesn't really matter because his tower is already way lower than ours. So it looks like my opponent will be having a very similar strategy to me, which is gonna be obviously to play uh, Drunk Rulun. And at the same time, my opponent will be playing some Bone Blasters, which I didn't see at all, and I lost both my archers because I didn't react enough, uh, quickly enough. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be uh, playing this game and I'm gonna cycle a T-Rex behind my uh, weak side tower because I want to protect it basically and right now I think I'm gonna just play Drunker without a balloon, just Drunker so he fears constantly of where <laughs> when I'm gonna play balloon and here it is, there are the overcommitments, he played uh, Devils, he played uh, a Bomb Tower and I haven't played a balloon ever I'm gonna play Skeleton Hut because it's gonna uh, counter uh, his forces pretty well, unless it won't. I'm gonna play some Footman because right now I'm 100% certain I have the uh, mana advantage. I'm gonna just uh, keep pushing. I think some of these Footmen will still force out some mana out of him. And yeah, they are just uh, on the tower. Uh, and my man has to do something about it. Because if he doesn't, he's gonna just uh, lose the uh, lose the tower. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, just play a blitz on these devils. So 
so they don't uh, counter this balloon uh, so well. Also, he plays balloon right into my archers, which is definitely not an uh, optimal play. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna just play footman. Maybe I should have played them too high. No, not not even I not even I needed to play them uh, higher because uh, after all, we managed to get away with uh, our play. Uh, I'm gonna play just uh, this. I'm gonna blitz these bomb blasters so that uh, Skeleton Hut stays alive and uh, can uh, potentially hold uh, his uh, balloon in the future. Uh, 7 seconds till the end of the game, I'm gonna just play bullets to kill his uh, tower and we're gonna get 2-0 lead in this game and eventually win it. And that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Drunker Loon gameplay today. If you did, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because I post Boomerian content every single day and you definitely don't want to miss it out. And so yeah, thanks for watching. Till the end, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boomerina.